Welcome back. I am a big super fan of LGD. I don't want to be biased or anything. Wow. Wow. But uh, pulling out the big guns for this one. You know, well, LBZS, they don't have a jersey, right? They're just, they got nothing. <sighs> Look Woo! at that bad boy. Woo! LBZS all the way, baby. Look they got smile. this. They're about to take down LGD. I'm going to mess that up as well for you. Detachment getting chased down. Some body blocks from Jin Q, and he is on this Pangolier. Faith Beyond on the off lane. Spirit Breaker will get first blood. You know, you're just getting rotated on. Yeah, I feel super bad when you're like, oh, hold on. They're fighting with the water rune here, interestingly. PP manning up on the nothing to say as Jinku comes across as well. Yeah, PP looking to get himself out, but it's not looking likely. No ball lightning. He's only level four still, so Jinku gets the kill onto PP. This is your hardest matchup in the mid lane, and we've talked about how hard mid matchups are. It's oh, going to be tough. Bit of a rough and tumble going down. Faith Beyond with the batches, but the cookie's there from detachment. Ooh, just coming off cooldown there at the right time. Does that say 20 health? That says 20 health. Ooh, Tornado EMP again. PP now in a lot of trouble with the cold snap on him. Trying to run. He just got back. Look at that TP. Still on cooldown. 68 seconds. It, it could end up being a, a, a big problem for LBCS, especially with how the other lanes are going, especially PP. PP, no! He's going to get low. No mana. Run! No health. No oh. life. Lane's been a bit of a struggle for PP. But overall, net worth is pretty even. Kagome is excelling, uh, and Faith Beyond, uh, all right, stopping it right before you oh, make contact. Leave PP alone. He's just trying to get some farm. He's just trying to get some stacks, but LV and S are just getting bullied. Well, PP is getting bullied, and now they'll move over towards attachment as they start the fight in the triangle. Start getting loads out immediately. They see the storm, they jump to the storm. Scream comes through from Kagome, though, doing a lot of work. Yeah, they're trying to get the EMP down, get a couple of kills here for the side of LBZS. They've taken out two in Faith Beyond and Jinq. Yeah. Um, but doesn't really have the, the net worth to carry him through here. Whoa, nothing to say. Being jumped on in the middle lane and they'll be able to take him down. The Invoker is gone and it's Ame. What? Mid. Yeah, but what I meant to say is everybody TP in top. Yeah. Defend this exactly tower what you'd the expect. End. Perfect analysis they from the play They want every tower. Pair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, just as we uh, we believed. Oh, Ooh, Snowball forwards, Sal but uh, Salad is going under the tower. He is going somewhere he does not want to be. No, and Salad jumping around. Now Rolling Thunder coming through. They've got the Spirit Vessel on Salad. Nether Strike hitting on t -t -t Detachment. And the ulti comes out from Innocence. Detachment fighting up here, but it's Taze on numbered as he goes down. But LBZS that's looking to fight back. Woo! Beautiful scream of pain from Kagome. That's going to take down at least one. Nothing to say. Still alive for the time being, but very low to the dagger. Meanwhile, in comes Ame looking for Molasses. And the charge comes through as well. And they take down the Death Prophet as well. Is going for these Roshan attempts. Now, it has been scanned out by LGD. No Rolling Thunder, though. They are going to Sunstrike. Yep. Charge. Is this going to tie? This might time out pretty well. It's going to be on the detachment. Roche is low. The tornado. This it could comes be bad. through. Baby and on. the Aegis is picked up by PP. PP's got it. And now they're going to immediately pop it here. The supernova comes on down. But look at Molasses. He's just tearing through the fight with that BKB. Excellent doing a lot of work, but it is ending soon. And yeah, they're going after Molasses. And they've got the Sunray on him. There's the Rolling Thunder that we wanted for the early parts of this fight. But, uh, well, now it's here, and it does net them a kill. You know, the, the net worth doesn't matter, like the points don't matter, and whose line is it anyway? Exactly. Blink exactly. with the Rolling Thunder, Shield Crash down on a Molasses, uh, who pops his BKB. Okay. Bit premature. And now that means it'll be down if LGD do want to just force the issue again. Oh, they're trying Kagome. to do and get Kagome. Yeah, and he does not have a BKB. Ooh. Old Snowball, uh, not sure it's going to save him. Let's see, rolling into the BKB, oh. Morphling, that ain't going to end up too well, but oh. the Blade of Pain! Ah, oh, gets caught out by the Adapter Strike. Yeah, they end up getting the kill on a Salad. They've got the Ice Wall down, making Salad's retreat very difficult. Mega kill streak and a double kill for Ame. So, even if he gets dusted, you just make it last a second. And we go with a team fight here as they jump everything onto Molasses. They want to take him down and no exorcism for you. They do get the return kill onto Innocence, but it's not much. And yeah, they'll continue to chase after Sal who goes into the snowball after nothing to say, but you've got Ame who's Yo. charging as the Spirit Breaker all the way in. Link is hot. Here comes Faith Beyond. And they get PP. What is Kagome this? Kagome low, and they'll get one man. What they is just this? need to charge. Oh my god, full team wipe. LGD and a triple kill for Ame. Um, I don't know, maybe you do that with your Storms Alive. I don't really know. It kind of feels like uh, the, the dish might be a bit empty for LBZS, unfortunately. Not. 
You can tell uh, you can tell what boomers when we saw them there. It's a bit of boomer humor for you. Sunstrike coming down and another ah. snowball save. They use the rolling thunder. Snowball going uh -oh. in. Oh boy. Molasses <laughs> with the BKB. Turning it around with the exorcism, but it doesn't really do enough. They just rip through him. They don't really care about him or his ghosts. And now I'll be ZS gonna look for the reset. Although uh jumping in on PP here, trying to follow up with more of his kisses, but in the back lines, Ama's just going insane. Yeah, Ama killing off detachment with a triple kill. Now, do we get another rampage? Does he just dive the base? Unfortunately, no. Boo. I can only hope that we get another Rampage. Quadruple Rampage. I feel like we need to know no, the... Uh, ah, okay, GG's cool. That's going to be it, folks, for this first game. Yeah, valiant attempt from LBZS, but unfortunately, LGD just coming up big as expected. But yeah, I mean, not a bad loss. Not a bad no, loss, no, no, you know? No, no. I think the tools are there. I think the idea is there. And someone saw the execution. Game number two, and yeah, I, I kind of share the uh, the concerns of our of our very uh, worried panel over there that um, this might be one of those lichen games. Potentially, you could jump left or right, but it depends on your environment. Ooh. And look at that, Jinku already with the Shikuchi to get the kill on detachment. Why just yet? Yeah, if Molasses doesn't do... Oh, hold up. Top link. Go me. Getting very low. Trying to get the kill onto Faith Beyond here. Will he be able to finish the job? I don't think so. And even if he does get low enough, the Wolves will just deny him anyway. He had a really good lane with this oh. Queen of Pain in the safe oh. lane. Nothing to say. He's okay for now. Pops the stick. Oh, no. And PP now in too far. In some trouble. There's the swarm. Nightmare out. Slight in from nothing to say. <laughs> They'll get the kill on a PP. Oh, man. I mean, I talked about using the swarm when they're out of position before. I've been kind of like maybe too close to the tower, maybe across the river. Uh, in between the tier one and tier two, <laughs> it's a very extreme example. But I don't think anyone's going to pick Timber ever again. PP in trouble once more. Here's Jin Q and Y oh. once again. They want to shut what down the PP. They really and, do. Oh, my gosh. Dominating for Jin Q once again. Good, we gotta shut him down, although he's gonna trounce all over us. That, that's it, right? That's the spin you need to have some confidence <laughs> after this one, as they go after both Sound and Detachment. Nothing to say. He still has a remnant to come back after the glimpse. He thought ahead. He certainly did, yeah. They chase down Salad here. Jin Q will scoop up that kill, and I think Detachment might not be looking so pretty either, as there are plenty of spells for nothing to say to work. Even walks away from him. So disrespectful. He's, he's literally looking at the rune before he's even finished the kill. Cool guys don't look at explosions. They just walk away. Oh, PP, oh, no! God. He's back again and dead again and back Leave again. PP alone. Oh, gosh. And so is the attachment in Salad. OGD uh, playing super confident. And I want to say it's overconfidence, but I mean, the results speak for, for themselves. Not no, even it wasn't. It is potentially magical. TP out. Oh, oh, oh hey, is it gonna be innocent? Run, Ravage! Run, oh. save the five presses. Oh. There it is. You're all wrong. You all typed Ame. Yep. And innocence tips PP. Okay. Oh, he's the one creeps. He wants uh, heroes. Watch out, watch out. He wants those cheeses. Yep. Creeps are too low value for him, you know. He's got a taste for blood now. Much like a vampire. They do have static storm. If they want to make this play aggressively. Well, let's see here. Glimpse back onto Innocence here. Innocence going to be losing his life, and they've got the grip out onto the Weaver as well, who's dropping low. Two kills for LBZS. Hello. Yeah, Salad trying to well, maybe find an escape from this. I'm not really too sure. The ghost ship comes in. They got two yeah. so far, but they're going to lose three, potentially four. Molasses on the run, and he's getting bit. It's going to know how metal tastes, but, well, nothing to say. We'll get the kill anyway. I don't think anyone plans for a lady phase to go quite this badly, unfortunately. Look at this, they've managed to catch attachments once again on the low ground. They barely even need to... The way they're going on to New Horizons, like, they're, they're just treating detachment with so little respect. They just treat it as, like, a thing on the side. And they're going to catch another one. They catch PP in the chains. Ravage out. Kagome is also dead. He's solid. He's low. He's running. He's trying to survive PP2, but hit with the searing Aww, chains. They get the kill there. He was out of siphons. He was doing well for such a long time, but unfortunately, when those siphons ran out, He's left with nada. 
It might flash upon your screen pretty quickly, but ooh, maybe ooh. not. Fiend's Grip coming through onto Ame. Exorcism. They're going to look to get this kill, and they will. Their full commitment there as we get the funny number, but in he comes from the back lines. Nothing to say. Takes down detachments. Takes down Salad as well. That's going to be two dead inside of Selfie ZS. Immediate buyback, though, coming up from the Disruptor. They think they can fight this, but let's see how this one actually goes down as they move on to the Death Prophet. Jinkyu fighting up, but has the time lapse to work with, and Faith Beyond just takes him down. We'll have to see. Slight searing chains and the swarm with the gush. The minus armor coming through. Molasses getting pretty low, but surviving for now. He's Another searing chains. Okay, side of fist one more time, and Jinku gets the kill. Big, but not big enough, unfortunately, and especially without a team's backing up, but they're bullying the Weaver. Jinkyu just being blasted right now as they get that kill. Salad, meanwhile, being chased by Nothing Say, who is getting pretty low, but don't forget, has the Aegis and doesn't really mind. They just want to control him up and do with elsewhere. Jinkyu actually buying back and time-lapsing into the back lines to kill off the Bane. Now, that was cheeky. There is... Uh... I know there's every chance they're going to do it, but uh, maybe not like this as Mas just gets cleaved down to oblivion by Ame here. Oops. And now, oh, pee -pee. Pee -pee. Pee -pee. <laughs> oh no. God, the Shard, the tidal wave, the control that they have, the static storm, it's just not going to help you out there, detachment. Triple oh. kill, Ame. All right. Well, yeah, now he's fiends gripped. Go on, Salad. But they've got the searing chains. Go on, man. All he wants uh, is the rampage, uh, but it'll be a double kill for nothing to say. That was griefing the rampage. Yeah, it was. It was. I mean, <laughs> she's looking at it. Oh, Kagome comes oh, in. Okay, screams on his corpse. That's a nice little uh, message he's sending there. PP's going to come running in with the exorcism coming down, but uh, they've just got way too much damage. They'll take down PP once again, send him to the grave for good this time. Go join your ghosts, they say. As the sun worshippers, unfortunately, the sun will set for them. And that's going to be GG coming out from them. 37 and 5 with a 45k gold advantage at 27 minutes into the game. My golly gosh. That was rough. But I think LGD did a, a decent job.